Hey, I'm Alex from Fallow NASA 2000 and today I would like to show you how you can automate your data view process that you do in Obsidian with AI. Data view is the second most popular Obsidian plugin and for good reasons. You can create easy to read representations of your Obsidian notes in table format, but it takes a lot of effort to maintain and there's also a learning curve. In this video, I'm going to explain what data view is, why you should use it, how to use it, and finally, how you can curb the learning curve, as well as how to automate the most time consuming processes. Data view is a tool that generates lists or tables using key information inside your notes. And you can visualize your data in a similar way as you visualize your vault and Obsidian graph view, for example, but in another form, as you can see here. I think data view can be super useful because it allows you to see a ton of information at just a glance so that you don't need to click on each note individually to find the information that you need. And it also enables you to compare key information super easily. And here's how you can use it. So for example, here I have a collection of books on the left here and I want to add this book to my collection so I would have to type the title the bed of Procrustes yes the author is Nicolas oh Nassim Nicolas Taleb and then I will also add a okay, genre, why not, philosophy, and then a personal rating. I will give it three out of five stars. And once you have a few items in that collection, here I have four books with those properties, author, genre, personal rating, I can just create a new file. Uh, what people usually do is they would go on the documentation of uh, data view and here you can see the formulas to use. So see you have to use this syntax and uh, you can even target with tags or you can target with uh, by folder. I'm going to do by folder here but I'm not going to do this method. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use our follow as a 2000 AI chat, but of course you can do this with, with any other chat for, uh, in Obsidian or even ChatGPT. So what I do here is I just ask it to generate code for a data view table from my folder books. Here's this folder. And I just mentioned, yeah, I'm an Obsidian. I'm using Obsidian, using author, um, because that's what I want to see in my table, author and personal rating. So let's do this. In the meantime, let's just quickly copy that syntax because I don't think it's gonna think about it. Okay, so we have table author. Okay, so from here to here, we're going to take it and let's paste it right here. And there you go. Here we have our table with my personal rating that I entered, uh, the author and the book name. So you can see that what's really powerful about data view is that I can use any of the properties I entered here. I can use it into my table. Where is it? Here. I can use it into my table. But the big problem is that it's super time consuming because if I have to type each of these properties uh, myself, it's gonna take a really long time, especially if I want to have many of them. But nowadays there's a lot of repetitive work like this that can be automated with AI. And here's how you can do it for this process. So what you can do with Falcon as a 2000 is create AI templates. And what this is, is basically prompts that the AI will apply to your notes. So for example, if I go here, you can see that I created a book template where I tell the AI when you find a note that uh, looks like a book, um, that is about a book, extract or generate the following information. So I'm asking it to get 
The book title, author, genre, short summary, page number, year, Goodreads rating, Goodreads URL, Amazon URL, personal, personal rating, and notes. I want the AI to populate all of those um, key information automatically so I don't have to do it. And to probably show you how it works, I'm also going to delete all those books that I have initially here. Okay, so let's delete them. Okay, so I don't have any books anymore. And now since I have that process set up, what I can simply do is I can take pictures of these four books that I have here. So that's one. Two, three, and four. And now to send them to Obsidian, I can simply use the Add to Obsidian shortcut that we created. If you wanted to see how to set it up, um, just check out the video description. But here, I will just use it in this video. So I just add to Obsidian, oh, I uh, select all four of them. And I just add to Obsidian. And now if I check my Obsidian, I can see that the files, the images, they're being processed here. And as they go through the file organizer inbox, they are automatically processed following the instructions that I wrote in the template because um, the AI is recognizing that it is a book and is going to follow those instructions. So now I can see that two of them were already processed. Okay. And if I click here, I can see we have the one I had before, the bed of Procrustes and all this information I asked for is automatically generated. So I didn't have to type the author, genre, I even got the pages number as I asked, the year, the Goodreads rating, uh, which I was surprised that it could get, even the Goodreads URL, the Amazon URL, if I want to buy it. Let's say I go in a store and I just take pictures of books like this. If I have a template like this in place, I can just automatically generate the Amazon link with it and uh, any basically pretty much any information linked to that book that is on the internet can be added automatically using this AI process. So here you see we now have all four books with all this information uh, added directly. So here I have the picture and um, it's filled perfectly for all of those files. And the only thing I'm going to add, because uh, I can see in my book, I added it to not add anything for personal rating or notes. I can ju just add my own. So I can just like personal rating. Let's put the stars that we had here. So let's put three stars, for example, here. Here we're going to put four, five, and two. And once all the book are added, I can just go back to my data view file and here, so this is my original one, but the new one is actually the same, but I just added the extra properties that were now added with AI. So here we had author, personal rating. Here we have author, genre, year, page number, good years rating, all the ones that I wanted to add. And just to show you some stuff that you can do with data view, for example, you could also filter out. So if you have here, I just have four books, but let's say I have 200. Uh, what I could just say is just filter. So I only see books with a Goodreads rating above four. So here I can see that it's pretty much generated the same code, but just added here, which is the filtering part. So here I can see I have three books over four. 
rating. So here I can just add this. And if I check here, yes, we only have these books. And you can do this for anything. You could also do this for pages number. So for example, here I, I say, and only max pages 200. So hopefully it's gonna, the AI is gonna understand what I am saying. Yes, it looks like it. So here I just have this code to add. Here we go. And yes, you can see we only have books uh, with pages up to 200. So that's just to show you how tools like DataView can be really powerful when coupled with AI tools like Filogon has a 2000. And this is just an example, but you could use this system for so many other things. For example, I have two other videos where I show the same process, but for tracking um, receipts. Uh, the other one is where I track my calories, also by just taking pictures and everything is automatically populated into my data view table. But I'm sure there are many more applications to this process, so I would love to hear your ideas. And I really hope this flow can make data view accessible to more people because yeah, the process can be really time consuming. It's a, a lot of effort, but data view is a really powerful tool that unlocks a lot of possibilities in terms of data visualization. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.